President Joe Biden has warned U.S. companies and organizations to lock their digital doors as he believes that Russia is planning a cyber attack. So, just how worried should we be? Well, let's talk to cybersecurity expert Richard Stadings. Uh, good to see you this morning. Um, look, I, I know there's a, there's a lot of talk. We've talked for I mean, months and months about the possibility of cyber attacks and GCHQ and all the rest of it work, work very strongly to try to protect us. However, where are we from our perspective in terms of, you know, my data on here or, or messaging on WhatsApp? And issue? Because, you know, WhatsApp has come under quite a lot of pressure at the moment. It has, it has. I think, um, you know, we've, we've come a long way over the last 20 years about securing our, our IT infrastructure and our IoT inf infrastructure. Uh, but we've still got a long way. Uh, Internet of Things infrastructure. Right. Right. So the little rumba that vacuums your house, for example, right? And right. Yeah. your ring doorbell, your thermostat that you can control from your phone, uh, these sorts of uh, these sorts of things, but we've still got a long way to go, right? Um, WhatsApp is a, is obviously a, a current area of concern uh, in terms of uh, the community, the security of the communications. Now, why is that? Because WhatsApp make a point of say that it's end to end encrypted. It is end to end encrypted, uh, but the metadata, the data that tells uh, you. Uh, the originating source and destination source uh, is not. Uh, it's, it's kept up by, uh, by Meta, the owner of, that, uh, uh, of WhatsApp, and uh, they store that information on servers, which could mean that your conversation could be tracked, not the, the, the actual conversation itself, but the fact that you had a conversation. Right. Mm. Um, Richard, how real is this threat from Russia? And what could we see here? Could we see, worst case scenario, a shutdown of our electricity grids or a shutdown of the internet? Or is that not something that we need to worry ourselves about? I think we should, that is a possibility. I don't think it's an imminent probability, should we say. Uh, but uh, I think it depends on the nature of the attack that comes from Russia, if we, we have an attack, and who the perpetrators of that, that attack are. There are two principal groups within Russia uh, that we need to be concerned about. One is the organized crime syndicates, the Russian mafia, for example. These are the groups that are typically uh, exercising ransomware campaigns against British businesses and other businesses around the world. And the other is nation state actors, right? The uh, cyber intelligence, the military intelligence, uh, cyber espionage uh, units of the, the state. Which, I mean, of course, ironically, um, the, the sort of strongest state actors on that front seem to be, don't they, Russia and China? They are, yeah. They are by a long shot, yeah. Uh, Russia has invested uh, a large amount of money um, in its uh, development of cyber weapons, um, and we've seen uh, Russian state cyber weapons used against Ukraine for, you know, the last six, seven years or so. What should we do as, as punters? That's... What should we do? Should we start swapping things over? Should we start going to... Uh, there's more secure apps, so we're told, like Signal or right. Telegraph or... Should we start moving to those? Should we should we be running more more programs on our PCs to, to secure those? Um, Signal is undoubtedly more secure. It's what we in the cybersecurity uh, profession use to communicate with one another. Um, it uh, provides the same levels of end-to-end -end encryption, but it doesn't have the privacy concerns that WhatsApp has, right? Uh, Telegr uh, Telegram also has end-to-end -end encryption now, um, but again, it's not as secure as Signal. So that's the first thing. I think what we need to do as individuals is that we need to ensure that we are thinking before we click, right? Think before you click is the message I would, I would give. Um, we also need to ensure that we're updating our systems, our home PCs, our, our uh, iOS version on our phones, for example, uh, that we are uh, adopting best practices around cybersecurity. In other words, if you receive an email from someone that you're not aware of or you don't expect, don't open it, right? Mm -hmm. if, you, if there's an attachment in an email from, that looks a little bit suspicious, don't open it, right? 89% of cyber attacks, successful cyber attacks, start with a phishing attempt. And most of those phishing attempts come into us by email. So, yeah. Think right. before you click. Yeah, that's the way yeah. forward. Richard Stainings from Silera, good to talk to you this morning. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, fascinating. Thank you very much. Now, let's lighten things up.